21 senators and the Problem Solvers Caucus in the House have signaled bipartisan support for an infrastructure framework. Following that, the U.S. Chamber of Commerce, business roundtables, and no labels have come together to launch a campaign in support of a two-party deal. A statement signed by more than 180 business, civic, labor, and military leaders reads in part, President Biden has said America has a once-in-a-generation chance to invest in our country and our infrastructure. He said he wants a bipartisan deal because there is no such thing as Republican bridges, Democratic airports, Republican hospitals, or a Democratic power grid. We agree with the president. Joining us right now with more on the bipartisan efforts on infrastructure is Republican Governor of Maryland, Larry Hogan, and Democratic Congresswoman Susie Lee of Nevada. And Governor, we'll start with you. Um, there is the feeling that there is some, some sort of a support, a consensus coming together, but we're still a little uh, shy of the details of how exactly this would work and, and, and making sure that everybody would agree once you get that hammered out. How do you think things are shaping up? How? Um, optimistic are you that there will be a bipartisan deal? Well, I think we're at a really good place. Uh, you know, this is something that Democrats and Republicans have agreed that uh, rebuilding America's infrastructure is critically important. It's an issue that I uh, got all 50 governors to agree on a proposal after spending a year-long initiative. And there's a great movement in the House and the Senate and at the White House. Um, I think it's a very important week for the president. Um, I, you know, I, I want to uh, take my hat off to all of the folks on both sides of the aisle who have been working together. Uh, it's not easy, but, you know, Republicans were at one end and the Democratic proposal was at the other end. Uh, I'm the chair of No Labels. Uh, you know, I brought together a group of bipartisan governors, senators, and congressmen to talk about this. And they've been working really hard. And we're now at a midpoint that it sounds like we may get the president on board. And it's what he promised to do. You know, he said he really wanted to work together in a bipartisan way. This is this is our chance to do it. If we can't come together on infrastructure, I'm not sure where we're ever going to find uh, common ground. And it's great that we got so much support for this middle ground proposal. Governor Hogan, how important is this for Maryland? What do, what do you need in terms of infrastructure right now in your state? Well, I would say all governors on both sides of the aisle uh, really believe this is a top priority, and we're <clears throat> pleased that we're finally making progress. This really isn't a Republican or Democratic issue, and I think the leadership uh, on both sides, uh, you know, the Republicans did, didn't want to go big enough. The Democrats wanted to go too big that include a lot of things that had nothing to do with infrastructure. And I take my hat off to our group, the, the Problem Solvers Caucus, which is part of No Labels, and the group of uh, the G20 group of uh, bipartisan senators in the Senate for getting us where we are. And we had very encouraging news out of the White House, <clears throat> the president sounding like he does want to continue on in a bipartisan way. It means uh, it means a lot. It means jobs as we're coming out of this pandemic, trying to grow our economy and put people to work. And it's critically important. Uh, it also, I think, is, uh, is the, the administration's chance to show uh, that they are willing to work in a bipartisan way, as, as, as Joe Biden ran on talked about in his inauguration. Representative Lee, I'll ask one more time, just in terms of what you hear from the leadership, what has Nancy Pelosi signaled, what has Schumer signaled, or are they waiting to see what President Biden signals first? And definitely, you know, we're expecting to hear back from the White House today on this proposal of the Senate. Um, I think that that's going to be an indication of where we're heading. I mean, I, I know that there's uh, definitely an appetite to get this done on a bipartisan manner, this part of the package, obviously looking to reconciliation uh, as well. And listen, this is the biggest investment in infrastructure that we've ever seen. And so clearly it's complicated, taking some time. I think that uh, most importantly, the leadership wants us to get a package done. And, uh, and so I'm looking forward to hearing what the White House has to say today in response to the Senate's plan. If the White House scuttles a, at this point, is, is that is that it? Is that game over? Uh, listen, I, I don't think the White House is going to scuttle it. I definitely, they've been in contact with all of us, both on the House side and the Senate side, as we've walked through these steps and trying to get to this package. Um, you know, the president has made it clear he does not want to raise taxes on individuals earning under $400,000. Uh, and obviously, we have to, there's going to be some serious negotiations, um, and they take time. And I think we need to look at all of this in a holistic uh, manner. Um, and so I think that we're going to see this step by step moving forward.
Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.